Because if you give up, you're letting somebody um, win without competition. Don't drop your knee, come on, move! But the Irish powerhouse may have met her match in Master Rommel. Come on, come on, come on! No, I'm done. It's so sore. I'm being such a girl, but it's so sore. Rommel, we're sorry you couldn't complete your drill. We want to complete your drill, honest. But my hands are so sore. This time, we don't no want more. to disrespect that, you. No, we yeah, want but, to do. Uh, but the training still yeah, goes on. Yeah, okay. Not much sympathy there, then. If the attack is coming in, I get out. And it's straight on to learning how to avoid an attack. Whoa, step wider, step wider. Whoa, you move your head. That's it. Out. On the mountain, Captain Lusada is also concentrating on the attack. Now I will be teaching you how to hit your opponent. When you strike your stick like this, your left hand should be forward. You hit it and you go it back like that. Okay. And then you hit again. Go back here. Okay. Good. You should be okay. hearing a swoosh and sound. Okay. 27 year old Leslie is the only one of the athletes who takes part in a combat sport. As a champion boxer, she knows the importance of disciplined aggression. You know, when I'm in the ring, I'm hurting them. I really want to, you know. And people might look at me and think, oh, you're kind of like a, you're a bit of an evil person or, you know, but the reality is it's, it's not about that. It's about I've trained and I'm skilled at doing what I'm doing. But Leslie's also got stamina, as she proved when she took first place in the Shivanti tribe's gruelling log running race. But when it comes to boxing, the way they train you or the way they train us at our gym is, is when things get hard, you, you, you go through it and you, you know, that's when you work your hardest. They call it dig deep, that's what they call it, you know, dig deep, dig deep. Nevertheless, boxing in London is a long way from Carly in the Philippines. OK, nice one. I think it's whoever has the ability to pick up the skill the quickest. So whilst my sport helps me as much as I can in terms of maybe I can react a little bit quicker or whatever, it's, it's about who gets it. Down the mountain, Master Rommel's training has claimed its first victim. Fuck no! Just, oh, I'm so fucked up! Keep it up here. Um, I knew this was going to happen. Joni's gone over on her ankle and aggravated an old rugby injury. I just don't know how severe it's going to be. So I, I didn't hear any pop of ligament. That's always a good sign. But I just don't know. So it's, it's just the fact, the not knowing that's worrying me. Because it could be a matter of me being here or not right now. It's only been two days, yet one of the toughest competitors may already be out of the running, and she's not the only one suffering. We're all absolutely exhausted. We were exhausted at lunch, so to go back out and train another kind of three hours, it was... It seemed impossible when we laid down after eating, and we were just... I, I mean, there was, it was physically and mentally impossible to even imagine getting up and doing anything. Um, we're all blistered up. Joni's hurt her uh, ankle. I think my legs are going to be rotten tomorrow. They're going to be proper aching. Um, and I'm sure Anna's got some sort of injury, so... <laughs> we're all battered before before midweek. As the third day breaks, Joni's tribal mother, Vicky, tries to clean her blistered hands. Thanks so much. But her hands are the least of her worries. She can't stand up. 
If it was a clean break, then there's no there's no choice. I have to just I have to just not compete. But this is kind of like I should try and push through it, and I just don't know whether I can. It's just like this has just been this has broken me, and that's gonna show. And I hate that. Don't cry. I'm just so frustrated. <laughs> Normally when you're, you're hurting or whatever, you just stop. But you don't want to stop. And then, I flip and hurt my ankle, and now I just feel pathetic. Even going for a wash on Mount Vanahau is a challenge. One slip and it's all over. It is so steep, it's ridiculous. It's, well, it's literally vertical. You're, you're the, that's the reason you've got the ropes and we're literally abseiling down. On the mountain above, Joni's injury means that Anna now has her own personal trainer. Light contact is weapon contact and you hit the hand. Meaning the body itself, even you hit the, your enemy here, mm. he has still a weapon. She's still a weapon, right? She can, hit she can, she can respond to you. Mm. She can hit you, right? But if you hit the hand, mm. they let go. you destroy the hand, no more weapon. Yeah. Move. Move. To be taught by basically the man who is owning the sport you're doing is insane, but at the same time, it puts a hell of a lot of pressure on you because you want to do him proud. And so I feel it, I can feel the pressure, but hopefully that pressure will kind of kick me on, help me break some bones. <laughs> so now you're going to hit me? Yeah, I hit you. Oh, good. But of course. Uh, I hit you with control uh, force. Cool. Right, come okay. on. Every time I see this, it just makes me lose the bit of hope that I'm. I've got. Right, you know cross. Yeah. Right. So it's shit. Should have stayed at home. Now next, I want you to break that banana tree. You cross the bones of your enemy. Okay. Okay. Right. Hit hard. Come on. Hit that, that's it. Come on. Trying to chop down a banana tree with a stick may seem a bit over the top, but then Anna's never been one for a conventional life. I do like extreme sports. Maybe it is to do with living in Kenya. There's always an element of danger out there. The people I grew up with, the kids I grew up with, have all got a kind of an energy and an enthusiasm for, you know, the scary, the wild. Before Last Woman Standing, Anna had never done a contact sport before, but this 23-year-old is up for anything. Secret weapon would probably be courage. Um, I won't stand down to any kind of challenge. Um, however scary it may be, whatever the implications of injury might be, I think I will go for it when I think maybe others would hesitate. Yet to win a challenge, Anna has her sights firmly set on this one. Right, good! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Day four. And Master Rommel kicks off with a dawn wake-up call. Come on, come on, come on. Move. You carry this rock. Move. Come on, keep going. Don't stop. Okay, this is ridiculous. Don't 
Don't stop, don't stop. Go! With the other girls running up Mount Banahau, Joni grabs the chance for some secret training against medical advice. She's enlisted the help of Master Rommel's assistant, Ninoy. I think I'm just too competitive and that's the way it should be. It's a competition. What's the point if you're not going to compete? And I know obviously people think I'm stupid for possibly making an injury worse. But at this stage, I feel like I'm strong enough to do it. And I don't think anybody right now can tell me otherwise. Hit it. There I go. Front door. As if running up the mountain wasn't bad enough, Girl, come on! Master Rommel has another test in mind. To be Kali warriors, they must learn to control their biggest enemy, fear. The Kali training is more than military training. Not only physical training, but emotional and mental training together. He's led them to meet Palad, a pagan spiritual guide. Ako ay limiti mong taga rito. Unang panahon pa, ang mga ninuno ko hanggang sa ngayon, ako'y narito pa rin. Kung magiging tapat ka sa iyong sarili. How do you, when you, when you talk about that we must be pure of mind and spirit, but how do you see the cleansing? Upan, ang inyong mga loob at tapang. Doon sa ating pupuntahan na tinatawag na Jacob's Well. A test of Is courage. this the baptism? What? But then if it's a test of courage, I'm sure it's not just a simple baptism. Oh. Do you know you what I mean? jump off something? It's oh, going to be, yeah. Oh my God, please, I hope it's not water. It is water. In fact, it's a bottomless pool deep inside the mountain. Squeezing into a dark, wet crevasse is difficult enough physically, but the main challenge is mental. Uh, I really don't want to get in there, to be honest. Trust him, Alex. You've got to believe in yourself a little bit. I know that sounds nuts, but you can do it. And you've got to trust him as well. I don't know if I can do this. Come, come. Okay, Alex, it's like a little hammock bed when you get down. Just come by, come by. Yeah. <laughs>